Uh, I'm happy to be back on the keynote stage here at F Future Stack. Uh, what I want to talk about is data, and um, I love uh, technology. I'm very excited about technology. One of the pieces of advice I got a long time ago was when you come and do a keynote, talk about something you're excited about. And one of my latest um, uh, fascinations is home automation. So I'm in the process of wiring the home for uh, complete automation with uh, uh, new switches and light bulbs and all of that kind of stuff. And, and there's a lot of events that happen. Every few seconds, there's a, a poll that goes out and checks all these devices and sees you know, if they're on or off, or the garage doors open or closed. Lots of events, lots of measurements going on constantly. So uh, you know, this is a great example of, of data in action in, in, your, uh, in your home. Um, another something that I'm really passionate about is drones. This is my drone. It's a DJI Inspire One also a source of data. Every few seconds, it's you know, sensing where it is in the world. With uh, GPS, it knows where it is above the ground. It has all kinds of data sources because of the sensors. The sensors in the home, the sensors in the drone, um, they're really just small examples of how data is literally everywhere. I would talk to you about my Tesla, but that would be a two-hour uh, keynote presentation instead of a 15-minute one. So, uh, but data is literally everywhere. And I think these examples, I think these are examples that we can all relate to. I use these um, as, as things that we sort of encounter in our daily lives. But the Internet of Things and the growth and explosion is not just for consumers. It's emerging in every industry, every country that I've traveled to around the world. Gartner says that this year, 2015, there's going to be 4.9 billion connected devices in the world. And by 2020, that grows to close to 25 billion. Uh, Frost and Sullivan, another analyst firm, says that 40% of those devices in 2020 will be generating, uh, or 40% of the data will be generated by connected sensors, just like those in the drone and the home and the car. So collecting that data, collecting tons of data from lots of sources, it's good, but it's not enough. It doesn't go far enough. Unless we put that data to good use, it's just kind of sitting there um, you know, doing nothing. Unless we can quickly analyze it, and we can view it, and we can uh, make use of it in our business to make solid decisions, and we can automate processes because of the things we learn, it helps us fix uh, issues that before they become big problems for our companies and our organizations. And ultimately, um, data and analytics helps us make better devices, makes better apps, and makes better lives. And that's where New Relic comes in. At Rackspace, we're using New Relic products in many exciting ways. Um, we're baking it in, literally, to our products. Uh, New Relic today is, is baked into some of our products and services that we deliver to our customers. But we've also found new ways to use New Relic behind the scenes to better understand our own business processes. And then it, towards the end, I'll talk to you a little bit about the future and where I think all of this is headed. So let's start with uh, how we're serving our customers. At Rackspace, we think of ourselves as a managed cloud company. And our goal with managed cloud is to combine the world's best customer service and expertise with the world leading cloud technology platforms, things like OpenStack, uh, Amazon, Microsoft, and VMware. Um, when we deliver on that promise of combining those two, we call that fanatical support. And you guys have probably heard fanatical support if you've ever heard of Rackspace. One of the great products where we deliver fanatical support to some of our most sophisticated customers is through something we call the DevOps Automation Service. So in the past, with the DevOps Automation Service, most of the customers would show up to Rackspace already using New Relic to monitor and manage their apps. So New Relic would you know, kind of be uh, in, the, in, the, in the picture already. What would happen, though, is customers would receive an alert about a problem with one of their systems. They would, in turn, open a ticket or call a racker. The racker would then, in turn, go and start to troubleshoot the issue and ultimately resolve the problem. It was a manual process. It was OK. The monitoring and automation, though, could make it so much easier. So we leaned on um, the APIs and the integration with New Relic to make it easier. Now, using the New Relic APIs that Lou just highlighted, some of the integration that they've done, we've made New Relic a standard part of the onboarding process for a customer. So things like New Relic and Chef uh, and um, uh, GitHub are integrated right out of the gate with our DevOps integration uh, team. We tie the New Relic account to our internal portal. We set up monitoring based on thresholds that we agree on. And then when those alerts fire, a lot of things happen automatically. We can take corrective action on a lot of the events that, 
that we're collecting, and we can do that without even necessarily talking or, or uh, uh, waking up the customer in many cases. And so getting to the, the root cause of those problems is much, much faster now with the automation and the, uh, the integration that we've built with New Relic. Another example, and I'm excited to see Lou talk about MongoDB, because we, we took another uh, product of ours that we call Object Rocket, which is a MongoDB as a service platform. And we built an integration some time ago where our customers can basically see the uh, data about how their Mongo instances are running in, in Object Rocket right in their new Relic uh, portal. So, you know, it's, it's literally a zero install plugin, which means you don't really have to install any agents. You just need to use your new Relic key, plug it into the Rackspace portal, and then you start to see um, all of this instance data about your MongoDB instances under the plugin sections in New Relic. So, again, an exciting way that we're integrating New Relic into the Rackspace fanatical support offer. Um, so the takeaway from that, you should use New Relic, use it with automation and the integration, use the APIs, helps your team save time and money and improves your customer experience. And that is something that we're actively doing at Rackspace, but we're also uh, using New Relic for, again, things beyond just the customer facing capabilities. We're using it behind the scenes at Rackspace. One of the things that we have a lot of at Rackspace are siloed systems, things like the billing system and the ticketing system and the sales uh, portal. Now, ultimately, th those seem like silos, but they have to work together. Um, lots of processes that span, you know, uh, sometimes minutes or, or uh, sometimes days from getting a customer in the sales process all the way through to provisioning, that has a lot of interactions across all these systems. We write a lot of logs based on the interaction of those systems. Anything that goes right or wrong or even just the process along the way gets logged. And what we've found at Rackspace is that shipping the logs from those systems into New Relic is a cool way to be able to start to manage across these environments. Instead of uh, having uh, individuals from these siloed teams have to get on the phone and work together with one another to find the root cause, we can actually use the logs and, and the data that's coming around from those interactions and push that into New Relic and then, and then really uh, ask those kinds of questions that Lou is showing up on the stage uh, from a product like Insights. It becomes incredibly powerful for us to be able to tie all that data together and then ask those questions and then create dashboards for our business users over the top of all of that. So, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm behind on the click. Tomorrow, uh, we're gonna have a breakout session. I'm not gonna uh, spill all the beans on how we do all of that, but uh, Robert Chapa, one of my colleagues, is gonna uh, go deeper on that session in a breakout uh, about how we're doing a lot of that, so I would encourage you to attend. So uh, let me give you a quick example, though, of maybe how that plays out at Rackspace. Um, you know, we get, again, lots of alerts from lots of systems all over the world. 100,000 alerts is a typical day for Rackspace. Now, because of some of the automation, 90% of those alerts can actually be resolved in an automated way. Something went wrong, we do corrective action with an automation. But 10% of that 100,000 has to be resolved or at least investigated by a racker. Now, uh, you know, as that happens, again, we log a lot of data. We log that in tickets, we log it in the interactions that those customers have with the, the, the servers and the infrastructure. And again, that, that data is all being piped into New Relic. And with that data, we are able to drill down consistently across all of that infrastructure, you know, into the data centers and into the, the physical facilities that we have. Um, Data centers are, you know, we have multiples all over the world, but in, within those, those data centers, you've got server cabinets, you've got racks of servers, you've got specific infrastructure down to the specific component that might be causing a problem. And in some cases, that is a very powerful uh, troubleshooting tool or diagnostics tool. We had a case once where a rack of servers came to rack space com completely cabled backwards. Basically, every ethernet cable was plugged into the wrong port. Very hard to diagnose when you're only looking at one server at a time from a system administrator perspective, but very easy to diagnose when the system sees it as a problem that's systemic, not just an individual server problem. So that is something where New Relic really, really helps. Um, another use case, I'm gonna show you a video on this in just a second, but another use case is our network security team. Those guys are responsible for solving all the problems with things like firewalls and infrastructure around security and load balancing and whatnot. 
Uh, one problem we had was an overwhelming number of those incidents. You know, of those 10,000 that are flowing to Rackers, a lot of them end up in the queue for this NetSec team. And what they found is they were being overwhelmed. They had uh, a lot of morale issues on the team because they had you know, people having to work late and work the wrong hours and, and be away from their family on the holidays. But to get to the root of the problem that we were having, we again captured data and we discovered using New Relic Insights that we just didn't have the right distribution of staff. So let me uh, jump to the video and, and this will probably give you a little insight into how we uh, solved that problem. Let's play the video. We were approached by the network security team to help them automate how they handle tickets, how they handle the workload. A lot of feedback from our customers was, you take too long to respond to network related issues. So our goal was very simple. Let's get every response, no matter how simple or how hard, done in less than four hours and maintain that for 40 days. We decided, hey, let's funnel this information up to New Relic. What it showed us was we were not staffed correctly. We had a lot of people working Monday through Friday, eight to five. The work was really Sunday to Saturday, eight to five. We moved people around, we moved rackers to where the work was. Customers got happy, rackers got happy. We even had rackers who had left Rackspace come back and rejoin the team. They have so much insights to their business now. They know what tickets are coming in, what tickets are going out. They know where they're coming from. They know where they're going to. They know what the customers are saying, why they're saying it, when they're saying it. The aha moment comes with every dashboard we build because you're looking at like large scale data. It hasn't been able to be visualized easily before, and now we can do that. In less than six months, we've built over 75 different sets of dashboards for 27 different organizations within Rackspace. It really helps our business. As New Relic is adopted by our company and this data is visualized, the results are gonna be phenomenal. It just is a really powerful way to look at your business through New Relic Insights. So that, that commercial, it's not a commercial, it's actually just a video that Rackspace built because we love, we love New Relic. Um, they, they had nothing to do with that. Uh, the team really got excited when we told them we were gonna put them on the video on the stage at New Relic uh, Future Stack. And so uh, that team really has, has you know, dove in with uh, head first into New Relic and using insights as a key way to solve those problems. So again, the, the takeaway from that one is capture all the data, capture as much of it as you can, send it to New Relic, even if you don't use it at first. When you need it, New Relic is there, Insights is there to help you create those dashboards and analyze and help you pinpoint how you can make things better in your business. So it wouldn't be future stack without me trying to put on the uh, um, sort of futuristic uh, uh, you know, hat on and look into the crystal ball and since since I do that at every conference, let me just try to maybe predict where things are going. So we know, we know the number of systems and the amount of data is going to continue to grow. It's, it's undeniable. Having dashboard views of that data, having easy ways to slice and dice that data is become, becoming more and more vital to business decisions in every industry. Um, data is really gonna differentiate companies in the future. We also know that the future stack is going to span multiple clouds. We're already seeing this. It's what our customers are telling us. They're interested in all the leading platforms, not just one or the other. They want OpenStack, they want AWS, they want Microsoft Azure, they want VMware. They've got all of these environments to manage and they want uh, you know, to be able to offer their services wherever it makes sense. And that's why today Rackspace is offering our fanatical support across all of these platforms to give our customers the assistance, the expertise, the guidance to get their applications to the, the future stack. In the future, in that future, spanning those clouds, we will need powerful tools that sit above that world and provide one consistent view of it all. For Rackspace, New Relic is definitely one of those tools. And don't be afraid, uh, I'm sorry, don't, uh, let me, I would skip the slide here. Um, I, I should go back one here, where are we? All right, so uh, for us, New Relic is the, uh, uh, the winning formula, and I think the combination of New Relic plus our expertise of the fanatical rackers, I think that's the secret formula that we're uh, capitalizing on. But I should end with this. Let's go to the last slide there. Here's the last takeaway slide. Um, uh, listen to your data. Listen to your data. It's there, it's ready to tell you something. Um, use New Relic, use Insights, use products like uh, New Relic to dive into that data and understand what's going on in your business 
where those future insights are going to come from is probably already there. It's just a matter of uncovering them. They might lead you and your business leaders to the business outcomes that you never knew were possible. So I encourage you, if you haven't looked at all of this, uh, probably most of you are uh, in the converted, but there's bound to be a few of you out there that haven't already jumped in. But take a look, and uh, I encourage you to uh, try it out. Thank you very much. John.